Want to make your own games in FreeBSD? Then Enigmos may be the thing you're looking for. In this video, we'll be looking at an interesting project created by Samuel Venable, or Venable, and it's based upon FreeBSD 12.1. And what he's done is that he's packaged together a self-contained OS, as it were, uh, that self-boots into a desktop, and it contains the Enigma development environment. So you can create your own games. And there's everything that you need for it. There's, uh, there's GIMP, and there's audio software. So there's everything you need to make your own games. And he's actually included a game that he's made himself. And there's the link. Uh, on the FreeBSD announcement. Of course, I'll put this in the description box down below. Uh, for the moment, it's a virtual box image, but he does give instructions on how to convert it into a uh, an image file for a USB stick. So it'll work pretty much in the same way as uh, Nomad BSD. So yes, this looks very interesting, and we'll get on having a look at what you get. Right, here we are. It's an XFCE desktop. I'll just close that. And, um, yeah, it's everything is self-contained, anything you should need if you're a, a developer of some games. I know nothing about developing games, so I'll just go through what's available. You've got file manager, the usual things, mail reader, web browser, takes you to the default apps. Uh, you've got the settings that is usually available on XFCE. Um, nothing out of the usual there. Uh, it's very nice. The accessories, you know, you get uh, the usual. And there's the development part. There's Enigma and some Qt5 uh, development tools. The sample game. You get uh, GIMP, internet tools, Audacity. And uh, some system utilities. And there you are, version 4.14. So it's it's all it's very simple so far. This is only early days. This is um, something that he, he put together out of need, really. Uh, no doubt he'll be working on other versions of this. And there you've got your date at the top, and then you've got a nice big chunky uh, bar at the bottom. And there you get your emulator, your terminal emulator, your file manager. And it should be FUNA. Yeah, there is. 1.8.15. I haven't used FUNA for a long time. And there's your Ingrampa for archiving. And there's your web browser, which will go to uh, Firefox. We'll just have a look now. Uh, we'll just check the version. And about, yeah, 82.0.2. Yeah, it's not too bad. So there's your Firefox if you need it. And there's your mail reader. So it's not about the uh, Thunderbird. This it is. And that's your uh, Enigma development environment. I've never used this before and I know nothing about making my own games. So uh, I'll just have a quick look in there. For those in the know, it's 1.8.198. And it looks um, it looks very complicated. So no, I, I honestly don't. I, I don't develop games, so uh, I don't know. But you do get uh, various things. You get the, the build options. Uh, looks very good. You get edit for existing uh, projects, and then you can put your various objects in knickknacks and animate them and all kinds of things. And this is your example game that he's made. Loads up very nice. Time Killer Games. Hyperlam. Okay. Copyright 2020 Samuel Venable or Venable. Key to success. So we're just loading up. Press spacebar. There we go. Looks very good so far. Actually runs really nicely on uh, the virtual box. I am, uh, yeah. I am no good at Oh dear, no good at platforms. Yee, there you go. Uh, presumably you collect all the keys and then it'll open the door to get out. But easiest, uh, easier said than done. And I'll just, uh, yeah, you're going to get the key again. Uh, no, oh dear. Well, there you go. Um, I think we'll call it on that. But yeah, it's very nice. We've got a smooth running game. 
So, the Enigma development environment will let you make games like that, which is pretty cool. Then you've got GIMP and Audacity and Media Player. So everything you need, really, uh, OctoPKG and the Wi-Fi if you're connecting that way. So everything's there if you want to develop your own simple games. That's very good. I'm going to have to look into this Enigma and how you actually uh, make a, sing, um, a simple game because that went quite well. So anyway, that's just a quick look. Uh, hopefully you'll carry on with this. It looks very promising indeed. Um, a very specialist version of FreeBSD to develop games is something that I've not seen before. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video. And if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.